Hi folks, Dave, the Honest Audiophile, and these are my honest impressions of the Hi-Fi-Man HE5XX from Drop. You can purchase the HE5XX on the Drop website for $220. They are a open back, double-sided planar magnetic headphone. They have a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and impedance of 18 ohms, sensitivity of 93.5 decibels. They weigh 12 and a half ounces or 355 grams, and they come with two accessories. You get a cable as made of rubbers, 4.9 feet long or one and a half meters. It's rubber, it's a decent cable. And your other accessory is a quarter inch adapter. That's it. That's the only accessories that you get. You get this cable, the adapter and your headphones. $220, you would think that the build quality would be decent. And, um, you know, this is one of the worst, chintziest, most undurable headphones that I have ever held in my hands. These things probably would break just sitting here in my hand. Um, they do not give me any confidence in lasting forever. And the headband is the original Hi-Fi Min headband. It's all right, it's nothing spectacular, but it's doable. You get a plastic little slider here. You get plastic cups. The only piece of metal on the whole thing, it seems like, is this yoke and arm piece. You do get some nice focus pads. And overall, th this just, feels like about a $75 headphone um, build-wise. It just feels cheap, looks cheap, and anyways, fit-wise. They fit, and their comfort is insane. Um, 12 and a half ounces is really not that much on your head, and these things just disappear, and I find that I can wear these for hours on end. I have no problems with it. There is one little thing with the fit, though, because it's kind of loosey-goosey, you don't really have a lot of tightness, a lot of clamp force. If you lean your head down, they will fall. So if you're a wiggle worm like me, you're going to have to adjust your headphones quite a bit. All right. How do they sound? Remember, $220. So this is a budget-friendly planar, double-sided planar, coming in 355 grams. Uh, $220, the sound actually is pretty interesting. Um, I find that they have a slightly sloped base. It's close to linear, but it does slope down into sub-base region. And also, they are very light on impact. Um, there's a little bit of impact, but not much. Now, the way that I describe it is like when somebody playfully kind of punches you in the cheek, and you just kind of feel it, but you don't you know, your tooth doesn't hurt or your head doesn't move or anything like that. They just kind of tap you and move you know, move on. That's kind of the way the impact is on this. It's just kind of, boop, we're done. Boop, boop. And I wish I had more. I wish you had a, mm, you know, get move your cheek a little bit um, type of base. And it, it's just a very light impact. But what they do really well is speed, they're nice and fast and they're very precise. And they've got a defined and refined base. So the details are there and they're resolved very well and you can hear everything and you can, you, everything is there, you just don't feel it. It just doesn't have any girth to it. And then the other thing that it's really lacking is note weight and density. There just isn't a whole lot there. Everything just kind of is airy, floaty type of, of sound. And then the mids, they they also suffer from that floaty area. Hey, ooh, hey, ooh, I think that, ooh. And uh, they, they're fairly cohesive and balanced. They do have an upper mids elevation to them. Everything's just note weight. It's light and it, it just doesn't have a whole lot of density to it. I like the tone of them. I, I like. I like all the, the clarity about them, the isolation and separation of instruments is there, but that upper mids region is a little too elevated and things can sound a little artificial. And that airy is just, it, I just wish I had more density and note weight and girth to things. And then the treble, that treble, 
This is a pesky treble and it has a lower treble emphasis and that borderline hot and bright. And you're, if you're sensitive to treble, I would shy away from the 5XX. They are a very much emphasized treble. It's very tipped that way. And I like treble, but not this treble. Uh, it's a little too much for me. It does make me go wince mm, because it's not very well defined. Um, some tracks it sounds great and then others you're like, oh, it's back. And so it's just a very iffy sounding treble that's just not the best controlled. And depending on the song, you can get away with it, but other times it's just a little too elevated and it goes into that hot and bright mode. The other thing that's really interesting is it's a very airy approach. Everything about it, from the treble to the mids to the bass, is just like, ee, woo, we're airy, we're floaty. There's not a whole lot of note weight, not a whole lot of density to things. And so it's just a light and just fluffy, you know, woo, ee, type of sound. Soundstage wise, that helps because that. You, wide. Oh, holy cow are these things wide. Soundstage is in crazy mode. I haven't heard a headphone in this price range that has had a soundstage that's wider. These things are crazy wide. Depth and layering is all right. Uh, depth is, is decently for the price. It's not the most expansive depth and layering is good. You don't get anything um, climbing on top of each other, clumping together anything of that sort. It is very isolated and separated out of instruments. It does a good job in that. But it, stage width, holy cow. If you like wide sound stages, here you go. The imaging is also really good. Things flow very evenly across the stage. And it's also very well defined and accurate. It does a pinpoint thing. So it's right there, it's right there, it's right there, it's right there, it's right there. You can really define a soundstage very well with the 5XX. It does a good job for gaming, watching movies, um, videos, that type of thing. I really enjoy the 5XX in that regard. Um, detail retrieval and resolution is very good for the price point. I had no problems with that. You're not going to miss out on anything. Resolution could be a little bit better, but for the most part, I, I don't have any problems with the detail retrieval and resolution. Tone is... Close to natural, but not quite there. There is a little bit of artificial twinge, especially in the mids and, and in the treble. Things sound a little bit too boosted, especially in the upper mids region. And then in the timbre, the timbre is slightly metallic, especially again in the upper mids to treble region. But overall, the 5XX is a very musical sounding headphone. It just lacks body weight and density and has that really airy light type of feel to it and i just wish that it had a little bit more authority um, and presence comparing it to the hi-fi men sundara which is about 350 dollars so roughly about 125 dollars more the sundara definitely is the better of the two the sundara is way better built um, even though it is a little bit heavier you do get a metal build it feels more durable more sturdy on your head. 5XX might be more lightweight, but I, I believe the Sundara feels more comfortable just because it fits me better and more stable. As far as sound wise, uh, the detail retrieval and resolution is definitely a step up on the Sundara. The Sundara is more defined and refined in that area. You are going to get more of the interest, intricacies and a more subtle um, nuances in details on the Sundara and then they are better resolved. You're going to be able to hear them better. They're more defined. And then uh, stage width is smaller on the Sundara, uh, but it has better depth and layering in my opinion. Bass is definitely more impactful. Mids are more balanced and the treble is less peaky. And then tone is a little bit more improved towards the natural side on the Sundara. And timbre is definitely less metallic on the Sundara. And note weight and density is a huge step up on the Sundara. The Sundara just has a more natural and filled out uh, type of sound. And I highly recommend the Sundara.
If you're considering between the Sundara and the 5XX, I would definitely look at the Sundara. If you already own a Sundara, I wouldn't consider the 5XX unless you're just looking for something to beat around with and don't care about if it breaks anytime soon. Um, if you are starting out and looking for a planar, the 5XX isn't a bad option. It, it's a decent price at about $220 and you will get a nice sounding musical headphone especially if you are into gaming, watching videos, movies, uh, that sort of thing. The 5XX does a very good job. But as far as uh, getting a big, full, robust um, type, authoritative type of sound, the 5XX kind of lacks that. It's a little bit more airy. and we've... So if you're looking for a big sound stage, uh, decent uh, depth and layering and good imaging, the 5XX is a good option. It's been Dave, the Honest Audio File, and these have been my honest impressions of the Hi-Fi-Man HE 5XX by Drop. If you are interested in buying the 5XX, I do have an affiliate link with Drop. Check out the links down below. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I understand if you have to do that. And don't forget to hit the notification bell uh, if you've subscribed to the channel. That way you'll know when the next video from the Honest Audio File channel is available. It's been Dave, the Honest Audio File. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.